do. But astonishing really if it should stay like this, that it'll be goal difference that knocks the Irish out. Well, here's two against one for Scotland. Is there something on here? Brian McClare. Jury goes in the middle. Still Brian McClare. Took rather too much out of that. Jury was in the middle, so two was Steve Nichol. But suddenly Bulgaria looks frail and vulnerable. Could there yet be the surprise that we all want? McClare. A deflection was taking a course towards Gordon Jury, but the deflection took it into the arms of Boris Mikhailov. Jury off and battling. And he did well to get away there. Oh, look at that. That was always on. But advantage is played. Good refereeing. And it's come through now to Mackay. And it's there! It's there! Gary Mackay, the substitute, has put Scotland in the lead! And Ireland is surely on their way to Germany! What a remarkable story in Sofia! And full credit to the referee Helmut Kohl, who played a superb advantage when Gordon Jury was cruelly fouled but it came to Mackay and the youngster on his very first appearance in the Scottish shirt has put Scotland ahead and the unlikeliest of results is now really on with just three minutes to go Gary Mackay of Heart of Midlothian you'll be made a Freeman in the city of Dublin tonight McStay, the Celtic midfielder, withdrawn at half-time, presumably injured. Mackay gets his chance, and Mackay, 42 minutes into his international career, gets the goal that looks as if it has written history in the annals of Irish soccer. Another wet night in Sofia. And another unlikely Irish result. Wilson with a free kick. McLeish goes in. It's back towards Ian Wilson. But the tackle by Nikolov. The ball is upfield and Malpas is there. Malpas for Scotland. Gordon Jury. Ian Wilson. Jury's away again. It's Mackay, the goal scorer, in fact. Down he goes. And Ilyev it was who came in and pulled down Mackay. Extracting his revenge for the goal that the young hearts man scored and he's feeling the pain. 1-0 to Scotland it is. They'll mount the final charge. Helmut Cole, the referee, has looked at his watch. Penef, the substitute, goes off. The cross won't come in. Clark gets it away. And that was the head of the goal scorer, Gary Mackay. Now, Nikolov, the fullback. One last time from Bulgaria. Danger here! And the foot no more wide of Jim Layton's right-hand post, and that would have been Bulgaria through and Ireland out. But the captain, Sirakov, found the space, drilled in a very good shot, but once Layton was beaten, but away it went, just whistling that foot past the post. So we've lived dangerously these last couple of minutes, a save by Leighton and then a shot just a foot wide. But now two and a half minutes into added time and Jim Leighton clears with the goal kick. It's Scotland leading 1-0. That means Ireland are on their way to Germany. It's now Penef the cap the substitute again. It's a throw to Bulgaria. How long can this go on? Three minutes of added time has been played. Another deep ball. The big man couldn't connect. There was pushing in any case as Sirakov went in. But the referee signals a free kick to Scotland. And it's now three and a quarter minutes of added time played. And Jim Layton, who saved Irish hopes with that very good stop, just moments before the end, clears it long. It's all over! It's all over! And the Republic of Ireland is off to its first major championship finals. Jack Charlton has taken the Irish to Germany's 88. 
the goal from Danny Mackay. Three minutes from the end of normal time, six minutes from the full-time whistle. The substitute sent on from the experience, the authoritative Paul McStay was withdrawn, was in the right place to claim the goal. Gary McKay, Mackay is Ireland's hero, and the Republic of Ireland football team can dust off its Deutsche Reiseführer. It can learn its German, because it's Munich and Frankfurt and Hamburg for next summer. Jack Charles' men have done it. Group 7 belongs to the Irish, even if Bulgaria belongs to Gary Mackay. Booze and derision as the Bulgarians go down to their first home defeat in three and a half years. But the Scots have achieved the impossible. The champagne can go on ice. The final score, which puts Ireland through, is Bulgaria nil, Scotland one.